Hey golfers, in this next video, I'll be talking about shorter backswing, more distance. Keep watching. Hey, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. Thanks for watching. So we're talking about shorter backswing, more distance. Now, you might not be able to make a full backswing. Maybe you've got an injury or you might have flexibility issues. That's okay. You can still generate plenty of speed and power regardless of that golf swing. You've probably seen golfers like Tony Finau and John Rahm who have very short back swings, still able to generate lots and lots of power off the tee. So let's have a look at some ways with your shorter back swing you can get that extra distance that you're after. So the first thing you can do that's really important with a shorter back swing is make sure you still get enough width, particularly in your lead arm. So for a right hander, I'm set up to one here. You want to be able to feel like you're getting the width in that left arm and it's nice and straight as far as possible. Get that club as far away from you as possible. You don't need to make a full swing for this, but getting the width in that half swing in this sort of position here is really important to still be able to generate that extra power that you need. So from down the line view, It'll look like this. Got that left arm nice and straight, got great width, and that'll help you get that extra power that you're after. Now, the next thing that's really important with a short back swing is making sure you turn those shoulders correctly. Absolutely critical, and the best way to do this, I covered this recently in a video, is to pull for a right hander, pull that rear shoulder back. So it looks something like this. We're pulling it back. You can see there my hands are still out here somewhere. They're not all the way up the top. They're right about here. I can still make a 90 degree turn just by pulling that right shoulder back and still generate that power. So pulling that shoulders back rather than shifting and rotating, just think about pulling that right shoulder back that'll help you create a bit more power there. So the next thing, and this will show it best from down the line, this is absolutely critical. Make sure you watch and implement this one tip. At the top of your backswing, it is absolutely essential for a short backswing that you get that club either pointing at the target or slightly laid off over in this direction here and getting a flat lead wrist because because you've got a short back swing if you get anywhere across the line like that anywhere in that position there it'll be really difficult to then reroute the club and shallow it in the down swing however if you can just get it pretty much straight at the target a little bit laid off with a flat lead wrist it's a lot easier just to shallow get into that impact position. With a long backswing, it's not a problem if you're across the line because you've got a lot more time to shallow, but with a short backswing, you've got very little time to shallow. And if you get very short like this, if you have a short backswing, but the club's pointing over like this, very hard to shallow in a split second and play consistent golf. So that is a real key. Now, the next one that's really important is using the ground for power. Because you're not going to get as much upper body torque in that backswing, it's really important that you use every bit of the ground that you can to get that power. So a real common fault I see amongst golfers, they make their backswings, as they come into their downswing, they very quickly get up onto those toes and they lose that connection with the ground and that just cramps them the um, handle gets very steep and they get into an awkward sort of impact position like that. So really important with short back swings that you use that ground for power. Really feel like you, when you rotate, you try to keep that right foot down a bit longer. Use the ground and rotate. And that'll help you get the power and the consistency that you're after. Now I just mentioned then rotation, absolutely 
critical that you get rotation in the downswing. So if I go here, got our short backswing, really key. We rotate and rotate properly, rotate all the way through. Don't let those hips stall by sliding, really rotate. And that'll help you get that power that you're after. So I'll quickly show you from down the line. So we've got our short backswing, we're shallowing it and we're rotating. Really important that you're rotating to help you out. Have a look at this video I've got of Tony Finnau. Now this is face on. You'll see he's got a very short backswing, but he can still pretty much get his shoulders to 90 degrees because he keeps that left arm straight, pulls his right shoulder back and he keeps that right foot on the ground, pretty much right to impact. And then it only comes up after he's actually hit the ball. So he's a great example of someone with a short backswing that's getting the most out of it. So how do you practice this to really get the best out of it? Well, I highly recommend using a mirror or video and have a look at what your tendencies are in your golf swing. So from down the line, you get a view from down the line and face on and really just focus on getting that width, getting that right shoulder rotating properly and then usually, really using that ground, getting that club head pointing down the target line or laid off and then really rotating, using that ground for power and through to a finish. Your video or a mirror will be your best friend when it comes to improving a short backswing and those tips will really help you out. If you found those tips really valuable, consider liking this video, it really helps me out. Now what's really important is I've got a video coming up that talks about weight shift versus hip turn. It'll help you take your game to the next level. I'll see you on it. Do you wanna know how to play even better golf? Click and watch the video on your screen now. It's gonna go into more detail about golf weight shift versus hip turn, which ties in really well with this video to help you play even better golf. Do you wanna know how to take your game to the next level? Consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know or we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching, see you next time.